Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this second update for my whole collection at Project Polish. So these are the nail polishes that came into the project last time, so let's get straight on to it and see which ones I have worn. So the first one was ILMP's Rose Neon Rosebud and this is a lovely multi-chrome flaky topper. can be built up to be worn on its own um, but I decided this time that I would try using it as a topper. I wore this one over KT by Arda's Nails, lovely grey colour and I put it just down one side of the nail so that you could still see the beautiful polish underneath as well. So I love this polish and I'm going to be keeping it. The next polish that came up was this magnetic polish by Sally Hansen. It's called Kinetic Copper and it's got quite a subtle magnetic finish this one um, but I do quite like it. I haven't got anything else quite like it in my collection either, I did check um, and I've used this one in a manicure but I can't show it to you yet because it's part of a collaboration on Instagram which hasn't yet released. Next up was another Sally Hansen polish, this is one of their textured sugar coat polishes, it's called Royal Icing. I really love the combination of the green base with the pink and gold shimmers in this one. Very unusual polish indeed. Um, I did remember having to do a lot of coats last time I wore it but then um, I planned to wear it fell through and I ended up trying to wear it again on its own. So here it is in four coats, count them, four coats and it still is nowhere near opaque. So this one really does need to be used as a topper. So I did a little bit of research afterwards and I tried it out over a number of bases that I thought might work. The first one was OPI's This Cost Me A Mint and you can see this one on my index finger with two coats of royal icing over the top. The next one I tried was Essie's Bon Boyage and this one you can see on my middle finger with two coats of royal icing. And the next one that I tried out was this Jelly High Shine by Barry M in the colour Wild Mint and I thought this one was probably the closest in base colour to Royal Icing. And you can see it on my ring finger. And finally I had one finger left so I thought I'd give it a try over Mint Mojito by Hollow Taco and that's what you're seeing on my little finger. So initially I thought that the Barry M was going to be the best match but actually it's over the SE Bomboyage that you get the closest finish to what royal icing looks like in the bottle. So I am going to be keeping this one as well, but I must remember next time wear it over the base coat. The next one that was picked was OPI's Alter Ego. And I mentioned in that video that I thought that this may have changed colour as I didn't remember it being quite so yellow. So after filming that video I did pull out my backup bottle which you can see on the left hand side there is definitely far more pink and a lot less yellow and then when I opened up the old bottle it smelt a little bit funny as well so that one's gone straight into the de-stash but to be faithful to the project I did wear Alter Ego um, but I used the new bottle and this is what it looked like. So I'm going to be keeping the new bottle and I will be disposing of the old one. Next was Bo Peep by Emily De Molly and this was my gotcha polish for my rescue dog. It's a real pig of a polish this one. Um, it's a bit lumpy and bumpy and difficult to work with. It's getting thick but because it is my gotcha polish I worked with it and I managed to get a halfway decent manicure out of it with a lot of smoothing top coat. I didn't really enjoy doing the manicure but I love wearing this polish and I'm going to be keeping it anyway because it has that sentimental association. Oh and of course with all those glitters in it it's a pig to remove as well. And the last one that I wore was the one that's on my nails in this video and it's Lucifer's Cage by 90. This one was gifted to me by George of George's Nails. It's got a very very 
pretty fine linear scattered holographic finish to it and out of the bright sunlight you really can't see that holographic finish at all which is a little bit of a shame um, but I did have some sunlight today and I went out into the garden and this is what it looks like you can see that beautiful linear holographic finish in the right lighting it's just a shame you can't see it all the time I do love this polish though, it's a lovely sort of denim blue with that linear holographic finish um, and I'm going to be keeping it. So I wore six of the ten polishes that were chosen and I've got four that were unworn that will be rolling over into the next phase of this project. The first one was Quixotic Polishes Love Potion number no. 9. I nearly put this one on today but then I knew I was going to be doing some gardening and I didn't want to mess it up straight away. When I wear this polish I want to wear it and keep it on my nails for a few days to really enjoy it so um, this one will be rolling over into the next part of the project. I also didn't get round to using Aurelie's Holy Hollow. This is a pretty easy polish to use but just haven't got round to incorporating it into a manicure yet so this one is rolling over as well. Then we have the Barry M High Viz in Outrageous Orange. I did have a manicure in mind for this one too, but I just haven't got round to doing it. And the last one that I didn't wear that's rolling over is by Baroness X and it's called Fire Agate. It's a lovely black to red polish with flakies in it. So I need to make these polishes my priority for the coming few weeks. Um, and so for this update I wore six out of the ten polishes that came up and I'm going to be keeping five of the six that I wore and de-stashing one. So the total for this project for this year is that I've worn 16 out of the 20 polishes chosen. I'm going to be keeping 13 of those that I've worn so far and de-stashing three. So with six polishes worn, I do need to choose another six polishes. And I'm going to be doing that with my random number generator app and then I have also updated my nail polish list to include all the new polishes that I have purchased since the last update to this project. As I draw those polishes I will be looking them up for you on the spreadsheet and doing a live voiceover whilst I do that so that you can capture my reaction to it. So uh, over we go to spreadsheet Amanda. So the first one is number 700 and that's a Moonshine Manny, uh, it's Mike and Bezekiel, I think that's how you pronounce it um, and this is like a, a purple and pink uh, glitter polish uh, which I tend to use as a topper. Next one is number 9. And that's Mushroom by Barry M uh, from their Green Origin range and this is a lovely taupey beige colour. Next one is 278. And that's Warm Me Up by OPI and that is a brown with a little bit of shimmer in it if I remember correctly. And next one is 273 and that one is another API and it's Black Cherry Chutney which is a really really deep red colour, very summer appropriate, thank you very much Random Generator. Next one is 414 and that is always by a pretty perfect polish. Uh, this one I know is not quite the colour it once was and I can't remember if this was the pink one or the purple one originally but I think mine is now pink and it's got a, a little holographic glitter in it so this one will be nice for summer. And my last new polish this time in is 601. And that is a prism polish and it's a magnetic polish this one it's called you are the darkness very very pretty I will be happy to use this one so that's the six new polishes going into my whole collection project polish and I will go and get them now so that I can show them to you okay so we're back now with the polishes that were chosen um, this first one is the moonshine Manny Mike and Bezekiel 
and as I said it is that sort of glitter topper in pink and purple almost like a magenta pink and it's very very sparkly this one so I'm looking forward to giving this one a wear over the spring or summer and the next one was that Barry M's Green Origin called Mushroom and it's got a very suitable name that one for the polish colour I can easily wear this sort of colour as a work appropriate manicure the next one was this OPI and it's called Warm Me Up I've actually nearly de-stashed this one on a few occasions um, but in the end I got rid of a Chanel that I had that was similar instead so there you go, on the close up there you can see that shimmer which just lifts this polish and uh, makes it a little different from everything else that I have in my collection. And the next one that was chosen was also by OPI, it's Black Cherry Chutney and I was a little disappointed with um, this polish as I remembered it being very dark but it does have a lovely shimmer in it so I'm hoping that that shimmer is as apparent on the nail as it is in the bottle and if it is then I won't be too mad at having to wear this during the spring or summer period. The next one is this pretty perfect polish and it was from their Neon and On collection this one is called Always, although the name on my bottle is misspelled. And I think this one was originally a purple polish, um, but it has now faded to this pretty bubblegum pink colour, so I'm not too disappointed with it. I have de-stashed some of the other polishes from this collection, some of which had also changed colour on me. Um, and this one has got a pretty little holographic shimmer running through it as well, so again, it's going to be nice for wearing in spring or summer. And the last one to be chosen was this mini magnetic polish by Prism Polish and it's called You Are The Darkness and it looks quite dark in the bottle but actually this one is a very pretty pink colour with that orange to gold shimmer in it. It's got again a little um, holographic shimmer in it too so very very pretty. Um, and this is what it looks like when it's on the nails. You can see on the cabochon on the top there. If I'm pronouncing that word correctly, do let me know in the comments below if I'm not. So that's my six new polishes into this project. And this is my colour story overall with the four that were carried over from last time. There are some other people doing this project as well, so please do have a look at their videos. I'll put them in the description bar. And if you haven't seen my original videos, maybe check out my playlist here. <laughs>